Hey everyone, today we are going to create this rolling text animation in After Effects, all this without using any third party plugin. So let's begin. Alright, so right now I'm in After Effects and we will begin by creating a new composition. So let's call this one main. Width and height will be 1920 by 1080, frame rate 30 FPS and duration you can pick whatever you want. Just click on OK. Now in this one we are going to create our text so just select the text tool and you can click and it's completely up to you you can type whatever you want for this one I'm going to type Lumos and after that once you're happy with this you can just align it to the center if you're not able to see the align panel then go to windows and from here you can enable it also for this example I'm using this go bold regular font but it's completely up to you you can pick whatever you want so let's move its anchor point to the center so in order to do that just select the layer hold on the control key and double click on this so now the anchor point is in the center let's scale this up by pressing s and now i'm going to just scale it somewhere around here so yeah i think this is looking fine so once you're done with this we are ready to create some shapes for each of these letters so for that i'm going to select the rectangle tool and after that you can just zoom in and now i'm going to just quickly draw a rough rectangle something like this just to cover one character i'm going to place this below this one now let's quickly align this to the center vertically now I'm going to select this and we can press S. Now let's uncheck these values. So I'm going to just use this and let's move this precisely so that it covers the full letter, something like this. So you can see that we have the L inside this shape and none of the other letters are in inside this. So let's place it around here. You can hold on the shift key to do it precisely and just play around with the sides something like this so you can see that now the l is inside this shape layer and in the same way we are going to do the same thing for all the other characters as well so now i'm going to select this let's press ctrl d to duplicate this now let's move this and i'm going to place this to the u and somewhere around here now you can see that we have to adjust the top and bottom for this one because this is a little bit taller now let's press s and i'm going to just increase this little bit and now you can see that we have the u letter just play around with its position so that the complete letter is inside this now let's do the same thing for m so let's press ctrl d to duplicate this and let's place it over here now you can just click these sides and just expand it however you want something like this so once you're done with this we are ready to separate the text so before we proceed a lot of you watching right now have not subscribed to my channel and i want you to please do that because i want to hit 100k subscriber this year on my channel so make sure to subscribe and press the bell icon so let's continue now in order to separate this what i'm going to do is i'm going to select this one and after that press ctrl d and i'm going to create five copies because we have five letters over here so let's create five copies something like this now let's select the first one and i'm going to select the shape layer now we are going to draw a rough mask so make sure that this layer is selected and after that you can just simply click and drag to create a mask around your letter now let's select this one and let's again draw a mask something like this just keep on doing this until all the letters are covered so here you can see we have separated all the letters individually now we can select all of them and let's move their anchor point to the center so you can hold down the control key and double click on this something like that now we are going to place each of these layers on top of them so we have this l and i'm going to place it over here so we have the shape layer on top of it so we have the second one and let's select the u and let's place it over here let's select this one and i'm going to place it over here let's select this one and just keep on doing this so that all the layers are hidden after that we are going to change the track mat so from here you can see that we have this track mat option now in case you are using the older versions of after effects then under the track mat you will have some options like track mat alpha inverted something like that so just select the top option and in case you are using the newer version just like mine then you can just simply select this and you can pick with the top layer something like this so just keep on doing this just pick with the layer which is exactly above our characters something like this so now you can see that all the letters will be visible now we have single letters so our next step is to add multiple copies of it so in order to do that i'm going to just simply select this layer and on this one i'm going to apply an effect called cc repetiles so just search for it and let's drag it over here now i'm going to select the expand down and i'm going to set this to something like 2000 and let's select the expand up and let's set this to 2000 as well now we have extended this so if i select this and if i move it you can see that we have l coming up something like this which is exactly what we want so i'm going to just simply copy this and just paste it onto all the other 
text layers something like this press ctrl v so now all of them have individual layers something like this so our last step is to animate them now you can select the text layers so you can see that all of these are in red color so you can just go to the label color and right click select the label group now we can press p for position and let's add keyframe for everything so for this i'm going to move around somewhere around four seconds and let's add keyframe for position for all of them let's go to the very beginning now we can select our layer and it's completely up to you can move it to wherever direction you want so for this one i'm going to make it come from top so i'm going to select this and let's move this to the top or you can play around with the y-axis so let's move it completely up until we have this letter so you can see that we have this letter in half so we can fix that by simply selecting the reptile effect and you can see that since we are moving up so we can expand it down something like this now hold down the control key or command key on mac to do it precisely so that we have this last letter visible completely and let me just quickly move this to the top little bit just like this and let's move it so now you can see the that we have this one letter something like that now you can move it completely out of this frame something like this now let's do the same thing with this one but i'm going to move this to the bottom so i'm going to just place it something like this just increase the y value so here you can see that we have this cutout so again we can fix that by simply expanding it to the up so hold on the control key and just do it precisely until you see this so just do it till we have this one single copy left let's move it to the bottom let's do the same thing with this one and i'm going to move this to the top something like this again let's increase the down one and let's increase it till we have this letter visible just like this now you can just move this to the top something like this so just keep on doing this with all the other letters so here you can see we have done the animation on all of these so if i play back here you can see all the letters are visible now if you want to make this more interesting then you can select all of them then press f9 to easy ease them or you can right click go to keyframe assistant easy ease after that you can go to the graph editor by clicking over here now make sure that you are in the edit speed graph not the value graph after that you can select these endpoints and you can just move it to the left side something like that so if i go back now if i play it you can see that we have our letters coming up perfect now you can do one more thing you can enable the motion blur so let's toggle this motion blur on and also make sure that the motion blur is enabled on these layers as well so now if i play back here you can see we have this very nice motion blur in the beginning now you can play around with the starting and ending position of the keyframes you can make this faster slower however you want just like this so here you can see we have our reveal now we can create another composition let's call this one final and let's create this one now you can drag the main into this let's press s and add a keyframe and i'm going to move this to somewhere around four and in the beginning i'm going to just scale this up let's press select the keyframes press f9 and let's change the graph to look something like this now we can go back and if i play back here you can see we have this very nice zoom out animation and we have our text appearing something like this now if you want to add some colors to a couple of these letters then you can do that easily all you have to do is just go inside the main com and just select the letter on which you want the effect after that you can select both the layers press ctrl d and let's move this to the top after that let's select this and i'm going to just change its color so i'm going to make this red something like this and let's delete the cc reptile something like this so now if i play back here you can see we have this white color and at the end we have this final reveal with the different color so this is how you can create these kind of rolling text animations in after effects and the project files for this tutorial is available on patreon so if you're supporting me over there then you can download it from there and if you're not then you might consider it because you will get access to the tutorial project files and exclusive templates that are available only on patreon so with that being said my name is abhishek and i'll see you in the next one